determine if vector x is a linear combination of vector v sub one and vector v sub two. If vector x is a linear combination of vector v sub one and vector v sub two, there must exist two scalars, c sub one and c sub two, such that c sub one times vector v sub one plus c sub two times vector v sub two is equal to vector x. It's also true that if vector x is a linear combination of vector v sub one and v sub two, vector x is in the span of vector v sub one and vector v sub two. Let's go ahead and set up the vector equation. We have c sub one times vector v sub one, which has components three, one, negative one, plus c sub two times vector v sub two, which has components two, negative one, one, and this must equal vector x, which has components four, four, negative three. Now for the next step, we will perform the scalar multiplication on the left and then add the two column matrices, which will result in a three by one column matrix. Where the first entry is c sub one times three plus c sub two times two, which is three c sub one plus two c sub two. The second entry will be c sub one times one plus c sub two times negative one, or just c sub one minus c sub two. And the third entry is c sub one times negative one plus c sub two times one, which is negative c sub one plus c sub two. This is equal to vector x on the right with components four, four, negative three. And now from here, we can write a system of three equations with two unknowns. The first equation is three c sub one plus two c sub two equals four. The second equation is c sub one minus c sub two equals four. And the third equation is negative c sub one plus c sub two equals negative three. And now to solve this system, we will write an augmented matrix and then write the augmented matrix in reduced row echelon form. The first row is three, two, four. The second row is one, negative one, four. And the third row is negative one, one, negative three. And now to solve the system, we will write the augmented matrix in reduced row echelon form which I've already done to save time. The first row is one, zero, zero. The second row is zero, one, zero. And the third row is zero, zero, one. Now remember, the variables are C sub one and C sub two, which are the first two columns. And the third column are the constants on the right. So looking at this third row, we have a contradiction. The third row indicates that zero equals one, which of course is not true or never true which means there is no solution to the system of equations, and therefore there are no values of c sub one and c sub two that make vector x a linear combination of vector v sub one and v sub two. So now we know vector x is not a linear combination of vector v sub one and v sub two. Which also means vector x is not in the span of vector v sub one and vector v sub two. I hope you found this helpful.